Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been quite a while since I've sat down and put some makeup on. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of makeup using all my current favorite products. Most of the stuff I'm using has been in my collection for a while, but I want to share it with you and show you how I've been doing my makeup lately. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Are you bored of the L'Oreal Infallible Anti Redness Primer yet? I'm sorry, but it's just that good. Ah, there we go. I do have other anti redness primers in my collection, but they just don't do as good of a job as this one does. Rimmel has an anti redness primer that is nice and hydrating, but it doesn't really combat really bad redness like the L'Oreal one does. And then to add a bit of glow to my skin, I'm still obsessed with this L'Oreal Glow Cherie Natural Glow Enhancer. And this is in the shade Porcelain Glow. Like, look at that glow that it gives already. <laughs> Stunning. For color correcting, I've been getting back into my Rimmel palette. So I just like to use my finger. This pimple here was like, <sighs> humongous. Seriously, I haven't had a pimple that big in so long. So it is on its final leg of its journey, but it's really dry at the moment. So I'm just going to lightly tap some green concealer onto that. And then a little bit on my nose here where I've got a nice big pimple. Whenever I get a pimple on my nose, I think of that movie Liar Liar with Jim Carrey where that guy asks him if he wants anything and he's got that massive white head on his nose. That's what I feel like. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the peach shade just with my finger as well and tap that under the eyes just to cover up any darkness. Doing this just means my concealer doesn't have to work as hard. Like I don't have to put on three layers and then it looks cakey. I'm then just going to take some of my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade 322 Ivory and put a little bit on this pimpy. Pimpy. Shut up. I just like to pat this on. As I said, it is quite dry, so I don't want to be moving around any of that flaky skin. There we go. What pimple. <laughs> For foundation, I have still been loving the Maybelline Urban Cover. This is in the shade 110 Porcelain. It's definitely not as light as the shade 110 Porcelain in the Fit Me range. So what I've been doing is mixing in a little bit of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation in the shade Light Porcelain. So the Maybelline foundation is quite a hydrating formula. I don't get the most long wear out of hydrating foundations, but when I put a little bit of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation in, it really helps the foundation to wear longer because it is more of a matte formula. The shade is also lighter, so it helps to lighten the foundation up to where I need it to be. Now back in with my L'Oreal concealer, you know this has been my thing for months now. I cannot use any other concealer. And if I do, it's very difficult. It just makes the under eyes look so damn flawless. Oh. <sighs> Next for powder, you're not gonna believe it, but I've actually changed up my under eye powder. I'm not using the models prefer. <laughs> I know what is going on. So I think I have mentioned this in a video before, but I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible Magic Loose Powder. When I first got this and tried it, I did it all wrong. I got my sponge, I dipped it in, I like did the baking technique under my eyes and it was just a hot mess. And then when I saw that video with Desi Perkins and Beyonce's makeup artist, he used this powder under her eyes and ever since then I've been like, okay, let me give it a try. What I do now is just smooth out any lines in my concealer. And then I go in with this brush here. It's by Focalure when I did that video using a full face of their products. Something similar is this one here by Morphe E48. That could possibly say, or even there's one by Real Techniques. 
that is similar. Here we go. The contour brush. So I get the brush, I dip it in the powder, just, just a little bit, just a little bit there, and then tap that under the eyes. This powder is so fine, like so fine, and it leaves a really beautiful soft matte finish under the eyes, like they just look so smooth. It's crazy. So I just make sure I get that all up in my little fine lines and the rest I just pat over my nose. Before I powder the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with a cream contour bronzer situation. So I've been mixing up a few products. First up I have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade Latte 331. Now this is a really light brown but it is quite on the warm side. So what I like to do is mix it with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo thing. And the contouring side on this one is really cool toned. So what I do is just mix them together. So I put a bit of the L'Oreal concealer and then a tiny bit of the NYX and mix that up. And then I go in with this Real Techniques brush. I'm pretty sure it's just called the buffing brush or expert. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then I just tap it into my palette here and kind of spread it around. And then I tap to blend it on my face. Then I get my powder. I've really just been dipping into anything that's in my drawer at the moment. So I'm going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade 001 Transparent. And with a nice big fluffy brush, I'm just going to tap this all over the rest of my face. On the days that I don't use the cream bronzing products, I've really been loving this Sculpt and Glow by Focalore Beauty. So the contour shade in this palette is perfect for fair skin. The highlighter is a little bit powdery, so I don't really use that. But this shade, mm, it works great. I might just put a little bit on to show you. So I'm going in with this angled brush here. This one's by Designer Brands. Just a light tap. For blush, nothing has changed. It's still the Savvy Cheek and Lip Color in the shade Sleek Rose. So this can be used before powdering or after powdering. I do prefer to use it after powdering because I was finding before powdering, it was kind of lifting up the foundation and I'm not here for that. It works perfect over powder, so I'm just gonna do it over powder. And then sometimes when I want my cheeks to be a little bit more glowy, when I don't have any breakouts on them, I've been going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Coral. I have a finally hit pan on this as well. Thank God. I feel like I use it every day and I wasn't getting anywhere, like which is good, value for money, but it's always like an accomplishment when you hit pan on a product. I'm just going to avoid my big pimple on this cheek because I don't want to be highlighting that. For highlighter, again, I have two products and I've been using them separately or together. The first one is the Flower Beauty Chubby Highlighter Stick and this is in the shade Pearl Shimmer. So I like to use this when I'm going for more natural makeup looks and I just want my skin to look nice and fresh and glowy. So again, I've been using a brush by Focalore Beauty these don't have names on them, but it did come in a brush set, so I'll link my Focalore Beauty video below. Otherwise, I just used to use the bum of my Beauty Blender, dip it in, pat it on, so whatever you've got. And I just lightly pat that on my cheekbones there. And then my other favorite highlighter, I've been getting back into my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. This is one of the most beautiful, glossy, wet highlights. It's just, oh, 
So when I apply it alone, I like to use a dense highlighting brush, like this one here from Sigma. It's the F03. But when I'm applying it over a liquid highlight, I like to go in with the Morphe E61 here. As you can see, it's like a giant fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. So this just gives a nice light application. So I just lightly dust that over the cream. <laughs> and then here, here, here. It's not a mirror. <laughs> okay, let's do something about these brows. I've still been getting them tinted every two months or so, and then I just kind of upkeep them in between. So they do still have a bit of color about them, which is nice. I'm first going to go in with a brow gel. I've been getting back into my Benefit Gimme Brow. So I like to use this first and I just brush my brows up, get them all into line, tint them a bit as well. And then I have been so obsessed with the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I have been using two shades. This one here is soft brown. And then the other shade I was using was a blonde shade, but they have two blonde shades. It wasn't the lightest one, it was the next one. So this has a really, really fine tip, kind of like the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the NYX Micro Brow. And then the other end has a spoolie. All right, let me zoom in a bit for the brow because I feel like I've been doing them quite different, a bit more natural, you could say. So I'm going to underline the front here and then take that all the way to the tail. Just small strokes. And then with the front, I just lightly put a few strokes upwards and then turn to my spoolie to blend them out. And then I go and work on the arch and the tail just by doing a small strokes. So I used to just draw a line at the bottom, a line at the top and fill it in. Now I'm trying to do more strokes to fill it in and just make them look a bit more natural. Then I just go back in with some more brow gel. I feel like they're still quite structured and bold, but not as structured and bold as I used to do them. So yeah, I've been digging it. I've been digging it. Now before I do my eyes, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Magic Setting Spray. I thought I would try something different because I've been using the Rimmel one for like 18 years now. This one is quite expensive, it's like $30 full price, so definitely only buy it when it's on sale, but it works really well. So like, it's good, but $30. Okay, I'm quickly going to set my eyelids using my L'Oreal concealer. For eyeshadow, I have been loving the Astralis Glamour eyeshadow palette. It has quite a range of your light to mid tones, which are really good for everyday natural looks. But then you've got a few deeper ones down here that you can really make them more dark and kind of sultry, glam, whatever you're going for really. So I think I'm going to do more of a light, lighter vibe today. But look, I say that every time and then next minute I'm like gothic. Now I did set my eyelids with powder as well. I think I might go for like more of a cool tone. So I'm gonna do this brown and maybe use this shimmery pink. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm starting off with a nice big fluffy brush to run this shade all throughout my crease. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. I do have a discount code to use with Sigma, so I'll put that on the screen. There will also be a link in the description box if you want to save some money when purchasing some Sigma brushes. Next, I'm going to take the Precision Firm Blender. This is one of their mini detail brushes. 
and I'm going to go in with one of these lighter tones, probably this one here, just to help blend out these edges. I think I might go for more of a halo look today. So I'm gonna deepen up the inner and outer corners. I'm just changing to my E25 blending brush because it's a bit more detailed so I can get in those corners easier. I'm just going to take that same shade and run it under the lower lash line. So I've got the shimmery shade on my medium sweeper E54. This is just a flat shader brush. And I've just sprayed some of my setting spray onto the shadow. All right, that's literally it. Okay, both eyes are done. Now for mascara, I have been loving the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I actually did get my lashes lifted for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I feel like they're starting to, I don't know, just something's not right. It's like some of them are going back to normal, but some of them are still lifted. I don't know if you can tell down here there's some lower and then some are higher so when i've been putting mascara on they've been going a bit whack but look i was using this mascara before i got the lash lift and it was amazing it has the kind of wand that i love nice big and fluffy it kind of has that hourglass shape Yeah, my top lashes are a bit of a miss at the moment because of the lash lift, but my bottom lashes with this mascara, they look great. <laughs> I can't wait for the lash lift to like go away so I can just use mascara normally again. Like I did like it and my lashes looked friggin' fabulous, but um, now like see how they're all just wherever they want to be. What's that about? Now for lipstick, there hasn't been anything in particular I've been loving or just gravitating towards. So I'm just gonna find something to wear today. But before I do that, let's go in with some setting spray again. This is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. I've been using this for ages now, still obsessed. Okay, I'm going to go in with a mix of these Astralis Girl Boss lipsticks. I have uh, black tie and couture. All right guys, well this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and seeing what my current favorite makeup items are. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because I would love to have a little chat. I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to come follow me over on Instagram. I think that is all. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.